Coronavirus reached an ominous new level late today, with the first cases of person-to-person -person transmission confirmed within Australia. Health officials said three more people have been infected, including a doctor who was treating a patient at Westmead Hospital. Reporter Steve Marshall went to a newly opened coronavirus clinic after getting symptoms of the disease. This is what to expect if you or a loved one has to go. Right then, I've just arrived at a Sydney hospital to get tested for the coronavirus. A few weeks ago, I travelled back from Europe via Singapore. It was just a, a stopover for a couple of hours at Singapore Airport. And although I felt fine when I arrived in Australia, a day or so ago I had a sudden onset of flu-like symptoms. So here I am for the test. Coronavirus testing clinics aren't in hospital emergency rooms, but signs will show you to the nearest testing site. What you're about to see is recorded from my memory because we're not allowed to film here due to legal reasons. Inside the doors is a table with heavy duty hand sanitizer, a box of face masks and a clipboard. A triage nurse in a full length gown wearing a mask asks me to fill out a patient form. The initial consultation with the triage nurse includes answering questions about my symptoms and where I've traveled to recently. I'm then ushered into a room where the coronavirus doctor gives me a once-over with a stethoscope. From there, I'm led into another room where three swabs are taken from me. One from deep inside each nostril and another from way down the back of my throat. Finally, my veins are tapped for a couple of vials of blood. And then I'm sent on my way. All up from start to finish, the entire process takes about an hour. The nurse gave me this bag of goodies here. Uh, inside there's some hand sanitizer, uh, some information regarding coronavirus, a couple of numbers to call. But more importantly, she gave me these, a whole bunch of face masks, because I have to quarantine myself. I can't go back into work. Uh, the nurse said someone will call me within 48 hours to give me my results. I spend the rest of the day working from home. Frustratingly, I hear nothing back within the 48 hours from the clinic. So after 56 hours, I call in. Okay, bye. Well, just as well it's not an emergency. Uh, first of all, I was asked to call back in five minutes. I call back and now uh, they say call back in 10 minutes. I'm told the swabs are in incubation at New South Wales Public Health and that I should call back in the morning. Okay, so it's been 72 hours since my test and I called the clinic again this morning and uh, still nothing. In fact, the person on the other end of the line suggested that I call the laboratory and chase my own results up. What this means is that I have to stay home, I have to file my script and my voiceover for this story from home because I can't go into work just in case I am coronavirus positive. I mean, if this is Australia's frontline detection and defence against a looming pandemic, then I'm extremely worried. Eventually, after more than 75 hours since my test and numerous phone calls chasing up the result, I finally get some answers. What you're telling me is that I have not tested positive for coronavirus. That's correct. Okay, great. So I can go back to work and I can resume normal activity. Not quite. See you back at work after you get over that bad case of the flu, Steve. For the record, he was diagnosed with rhinovirus.